Melo, welcome back. Are you glad to be back from Beijing? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm actually I'm excited about being back. Um, it's good. To, it's good to smell the U.S. air. I tell you that. We'll get right to the Olympics after the Team USA won the gold. That it was one of the best feelings of your life, besides the birth of your son. Can right. you kind of describe when you're on the podium and what was going through your mind? Um, well, first of all, it was just it was good to be in different positions, you know, than I was in 04. Um, you know, in 04, I was to the left of the podium, you know, <laughs> getting the bronze medal. Now I was, you know, on top of the podium, right in the front. Um, you know, when they put that, I bent down, they put that gold medal around my neck. Um, you know, my, I just got chills. Like, everybody, everybody started clapping. Um, and then when they played the national anthem, that's when it really, that's when everything really starts setting in. Um, you know, the whole arena is be singing the national anthem. You got your gold medal. You got your flowers in your hand. I don't know why they give a bunch of men flowers. <laughs> but you got your flowers in your hand. And um, it's just a, the greatest feeling that you can ever feel in, you know, in, in your lifetime. You said after you won the gold that you were savoring the moment. Are you still savoring it and thinking about it? I'm still on my gold medal high. Um, you know, hopefully I can, you know, take that momentum and carry it over to the you know, to the Denver Nuggets season. I'm, I'm excited about this season. Though. Let's talk about that. What did you, what from those experiences, what did you learn to kind of bring over <clears throat> into this season? You know, how, how much of a team we were over there, you know, in Beijing. You know, we had 12 of the best players in the world um, on one team. So why not bring that back, you know? Why can't my team here be like that? Which, which I don't see no reason why we can't. Um, the only difference I think we was committed, you know, um, with Team USA. We had to go out there and prove something, which brings me to this season right here. By us losing Marcus Candy, um, I think we will commit ourselves and we will be committed, you know, the 12 of us, 13 of us, however many people on the roster, to prove to everybody that, you know, although we lost the, the you know, the best, one of the best defensive players in the NBA, um, you know, we want to prove to everybody that we, we good, you know, we're going to be all right. Even though the team won 50 games, is this like the redeemed team for the Nuggets? Is that how you feel coming into this year, that you do have something to prove? Yes, I, I, yes, we have something to prove. Um, you know, this, this is my sixth season in the NBA. Um, I haven't been out the first round. Um, I'm excited. You know, I, every year I, I tell everybody, I, this is my year, this is my year. But I never really felt, you know, like that, like I do right now. What specifically excites you about next season? Just, you know, just to... Me, you know, after going through everything that I went through and to still be, um, you know, where I'm at right now, you know, it's kind of a blessing. You know, I, um, I say, I always tell myself and my, my family, always tell me you got to go through bumps in the road to, you know, to, to get where you want to be at. Um, and I done went through all my bumps in the road. Um, there's no more bumps on my, on my road, no more. Um, but, you know, I, I'm just excited about this Nugget season, this upcoming season. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure the fans out here, <clears throat> you know, they was kind of skeptical, though. They still skeptical about what's to come with the Denver Nuggets. Um, don't worry. That's all I can say.